I picked up a drawing tablet, also known as a pen display, in order to do some of my artwork with a feel of like a pen and paper or paint set on my computer. So this is the XP Pen Artist Pro 16 TP, and TP stands for touchpad. That's important because I actually wanted to be able to navigate around the tablet using touch actions like pinch to zoom or to pan around or rotate the screen. And a lot of these pen displays actually don't come with a touchpad feature. So I specifically tried to pick one up that had this. Now, from reading online, I've noticed that some people have trouble with devices that aren't Windows. So Mac has a lot of touch problems and Linux is kind of an unknown from what I can tell. So I figured I'd go through and do a quick tutorial on how I set this up to make it work for my workflow and how I got some of these actions to work. So in the box, there is the actual drawing pad itself. It comes with some other accessories like a plug for your outlet. So you can plug a USB-C cable into it to provide power to the system. There is also a case with a stylus. Now this stylus only has one button. So this is typically used for something like a control click but I've noticed online that some people are used to styluses that have two buttons. So if that's something that is going to be a problem for you, that's just something to be aware of if you're going to pick up this particular model. And then there's also some other accessories. There's a artist glove that is supposed to help with the moving around the, the surface of the screen. There's also a wipe for cleaning the screen. And then there's a variety of cables that come with the system. So there's three cables in total. There's two USB-C cables with angle brackets, and then there's one multi-cable that you could potentially power your system all entirely with one cable. Now, I don't have computer jacks that would work with the multi-cable, so I ended up just plugging in both of the USB-C with angle bracket cables into the tablet and then into my computer, and that's how I'm powering the system entirely. Let's look at some of the setup steps to get this up and running and get the touchpad specifically working with your Linux computer. So we'll come here and open up Firefox and let's paste in the address for these drivers. I'm gonna come here down to Linux and we are on a Ubuntu 24 computer so I can grab this here. I'm going to download the deb file and then I'm going to come and cd into the download folder and I'm going to sudo dpkgi on the name of this file which was xppen Linux. So xp and I can press tab to complete it and then I'm just going to run this put in my password okay so that installed successfully let's see if that changes anything with the pressure sensitivity let's go back to Krita here now I assume we're gonna have to restart so if I come here and I yeah I don't see any differences yet so let's come here I'm gonna close out I'm not gonna save anything okay we're back here after a restart. Let's start up Krita now and see if our pressure sensitivity is any better. We don't want this. Probably discard that. Let's just open this up. Okay. Let's come here and oh, I can already see that it's coming through. So let me zoom in here. So if I'm going really light and harder and lighter, let's try something like this. Oh yeah. Great, so that's working. The touch action seems the same. It's a little jittery, so I think that what's happening here is when I'm doing a two finger drag, it thinks that I might be trying to rotate it, which I might be. And so that's creating issues like that. Now, I could still draw with my finger. Now I'm curious if I could disable that if the eraser works. Okay, cool. Eraser works now. Let's see if so palm is still doing a lot of things with the palm. It thinks it's a four-finger tap. 
Now, I wonder if the glove would do any better. I can go grab that and see if that does any better. Put on our artiste glove. Now, still, still thinks we're doing actions. So I guess four finger swipe. still moving the canvas around even with the glove on. So the palm rejection is not really working correctly. You can disable this entirely by clicking on the left hand side. Uh, there is a toggle so I could turn this to pen only and now it doesn't do anything like that. So I'm finally up and running here with this pen display and I want to show a couple of configuration things that I did to make my workflow work a little better. Hopefully this worked for you as well. Uh, the first thing that I noticed here is actually when I would touch with my finger, sometimes it would draw on the canvas accidentally. And this is really easy to disable. So if you go to your settings and you configure Krita and you go to general up here at the top in the left hand side and you go to tools, you can come here and you just can uncheck this enable touch painting. And if you do that, if you uncheck that, you'll no longer be able to draw with your finger, which is really nice uh, because I only want to draw with my pen in this case. The next thing I had to do is I actually wanted to change some of the touch gestures. So for instance, I wanted to just be able to use two fingers to pinch and zoom and then pan with two fingers like this to move it around or zoom in and, and you know look at something in more detail. And I just wanted that to work kind of the way I expected. I had to come up here and go to my configure Krita settings. And then I had to go to my canvas input settings. And then here there are a bunch of different actions that I can take. And essentially I wanted to come here and I removed basically all the default gestures and then change them to work for my own workflow. So for instance, under touch gestures, there's a bunch here. Um, I, uh, you know, I left the two finger tap to undo and the three finger tap to redo. I did change this from a five finger to a four finger tap to basically remove the toolbars on the side. Actually, I was only doing that for an experimental purpose. This doesn't matter. I could put this back at four fingers. That's fine. Um, I came here, I removed a bunch of things like changing the primary settings. I think there was a gesture here I removed. Basically, you wanna go through each one of these and then anywhere where it says gesture, you probably wanna remove it or change it potentially. Um, so you can open up all these and, and take a look and see what's happening currently. The ones that I kept here is zoom. I made sure I had a gesture here with a two finger drag and that goes into zoom mode. And then um, I removed the zoom and rotate. So there's one where you can zoom and rotate at the same time. And this was a finger gesture that was happening. Uh, now, when I was doing that, it was really jittery. So I would I would kind of pinch to zoom in. It would keep rotating, and sometimes it would rotate the canvas when I didn't really want it to. So I just removed that entirely, and then I came to the zoom canvas. I had the two-finger gesture here. And then for the rotate canvas, to differentiate from the pinch zoom, I just added a three-finger drag uh, gesture, and then I, I put this to discrete rotate mode. And the reason I did that is with normal rotate mode, it would rotate the canvas and sometimes it would get a few degrees off and I could never get it quite back to the zero degree. And the discrete rotate just does it about 15 degrees at a time by default. And so that just makes it kind of snap to different rotation points. And, and that works for me a lot better. So I'll show you what that looks like with a three finger rotate. I just put three fingers down and I can kind of rotate it like this, or I can rotate it the other way. Uh, with a two finger, I can zoom, I can pan, I can move it around. So it just makes it a lot easier for me to navigate. Um, now I did have some problems with my three finger rotate by default. And the reason is, on my Ubuntu 24 computer, three finger rotate, uh, three three finger drag by default switches your workspace. So you can come over here and you can actually, let me show you the documentation for Ubuntu. These are the default gestures for the touchpad and touch screen. And you can see that there's a, a, a workspace switcher here with a three finger drag. So that was actually interfering with my three finger dra drag to do a rotate here. And so it would just switch the workspace every time and I couldn't get it to rotate. Um, the way I actually ended up uh, getting it to work is I just disabled my default gestures on the computer um, for this. And the way I did that is I actually used this project called the Extension Manager. So there's a GNOME Extension Manager. I'm using the uh, GNOME desktop environment. Um, here's the project page for it. I actually, um, I think they say to install with Flatpak here, but I actually just installed this with apt-get. So if you come over to your terminal, you can install it like this, sudo apt install GNOME shell extension manager, press enter, and then you, you know press Y for yes. 
uh, and you can install things that way. Um, and once you have that installed, you can search for it in your programs by looking up extension manager and it'll look like this little puzzle piece. And from here, um, you can see this is the, the extension that I actually ended up installing. So I have this disabled gestures 2021 extension here. You can come and browse this, how I installed it. I just looked up disable uh, gestures. You can see that it's here. Um, you can see information about the, the project here. You can open up uh, the actual GitHub page to see the project code if you wanted to see that. So I have that open here. Um, and you could come through and you could, you could examine it that way if you wanted to. So that was really helpful. Just having that enabled allowed me to, to do that three finger gesture. There are other projects you can use that essentially they would let you control your gestures with more fine grained uh, control over things. So this is one uh, touch uh, or touche GG. Um, the problem with this one for me was this is expecting an X11 um, and I'm using Wayland right now. So uh, if you're not sure <laughs> which way yours operating system is working, um, you can actually check it. So you can you can check essentially um, uh, your environment type. If I come here and I do this, you can see I'm using Wayland. Um, you might say X11 there. You can actually switch this when you log out. Um, you can switch this to the other type if you want to. I have some problems with X11 on my computer just the, based on the hardware of my laptop, but you might be able to run that on yours. Um, and the other thing you might wanna look into because I was looking at another project um, before I started disabling the gestures entirely, I was looking for more fine grain control over it. And there's a project, uh, I believe it's called Extended um, Gestures or something along those lines. Um, the problem is that I'm using the GNOME Shell 46 and I believe the, the project support by default is 45. Um, and then there's people who fork the project so you can get uh, support for 46 instead. So I actually did install that, but I, I couldn't quite get the control I wanted over it. So I ended up just disabling it entirely. Anyways, that's how you can check uh, some of the information on your operating system if you're using Ubuntu 24, uh, if you want some more of that information. But for me, this uh, ended up working pretty well to just enable this extension here. And um, yeah, and, and now I can use my actions. So I think that's most of what I did. One other thing here is uh, I was having trouble with like my brushes. So a lot of the pencils and stuff work, but if I came down here and used a lot of these paint brushes down at the bottom, I couldn't really get it to display at all. Um, so I had to press really dark and even now I would barely see it and essentially my uh, sensitivity was just off a little bit. So I came up to my settings, configure Krita, I went to tablet settings and I moved like the low pressure uh, dot. This used to be down here in the bottom here and the, this high pressure used to be over here. I just moved these up to, to make everything a little more sensitive and now it works for my general pressure but you can customize this to whatever works for you and you can actually add curves to this if you, if you want a little more nuance over your pressure. So that made a big difference for me. And then the final thing is I spend a lot of time trying to figure out how to get palm rejection. So for instance, when I'm drawing, uh, sometimes it, it thinks I'm doing actions here with my palm. Um, so I draw, sometimes, you know, I can either do a rotate, or, you know, I'll move or rotate the canvas or do weird things. So that thought it was a four finger click for a minute, right? To, to toggle the tools. Uh, and then I thought it was a rotate. And sometimes it felt like that, it undoes my last command. Um, so it just gets confused. And you can see that things are disappearing there, right? So. Um, what I wanted to do is uh, figure out how to do palm rejection. I figured this artist glove that came with a tablet would be really helpful at doing that, but it turns out that it's really not that helpful either for me. Um, let me see, bring this back. So if I start typing here, you can see that it still gets zooms, it still does undos. Um, it really doesn't stop that, that from happening. So I spent some time trying to figure out how to get true palm rejection and uh, the answer that I came to is a lot simpler than a software one. I actually just ended up using a different glove. So this is uh, my wife's uh, winter glove. And essentially it's just a, a thicker material. So if I come here, it no longer, you know, it, can, it cannot pick up any sort of touch motion whatsoever. I can't, I can't get it to do even if I tried, right? So um, I don't know, I'll probably cut the fingers off this and, and or maybe just, you know, it's a little hot. So maybe you just want the bottom strip of it. But essentially uh, using a different glove for me is, is, is all I need to do just to, to get things working a little bit um, in, in that way. Uh, things are, um, you know, working a little easier out of the box. So those are some of the things that I did to change things around. Um, this guy, actually, this is my first attempt at this drawing and this is my second attempt, but I'm learning, you know, I'm slowly learning and, um, just trying to have fun with this. And I figured if someone else is trying to get up and running with one of these, uh, pen displays on Linux, that maybe this video would be helpful. So I hope it helped you out. 
If you have better ways of doing any of this stuff, let me know in the comments. And um, otherwise, you know, we'll see you soon. All right.